No bond for a suspect in a hit and run crash that killed a Greenville County teacher. The victim's family spoke afterwards. We have team coverage of today's developments in this case. We start with our Taggart Hauk and Tag. It was a dramatic bond hearing this morning. Well, Nigel, good afternoon. Yeah, dramatic and emotional. The family of Carly Sukup, the teacher here in attendance, the mother sharing a statement during that hearing, but quite frankly, an unusual and somewhat shocking start to this. Take a look. Hi. Was led into the courtroom. He was arrested Tuesday night. Troopers say he hit and killed Sukup around 1.30 Sunday afternoon. That was back on June 6th along Sulphur Springs Road. McMorris was escorted out of the courtroom for about 15 minutes after that. Then he was brought back in. Carly's mother, Wanda, read a statement on behalf of Carly and her family. She said that her, Carly's husband, Ryan, is receiving inpatient medical care for the trauma he experienced watching Carly get hit while on their bike ride. Here's more of what she had to say. Mr. McMorris killed my daughter Carly. He also killed her hopes and dreams and her very bright future. Ryan was shattered when he came upon her journal last week, in which she had written down all the things she was excited to do this summer. Ryan's sister and I were anguished when we discovered a newborn baby outfit. She was preparing for the day when she was going to tell Ryan they would become parents. Now, Carly's sister later clarified that she was not pregnant, but was trying several times during the hearing. McMorris said he didn't do anything. He said someone else was driving his truck and that it was stolen. The judge ultimately ruling McMorris to be held with no bond or from this hearing coming up this evening on WYFF News 4. For now in Greenville, Taggart Howe, WYFF News 4. Tagger, thank you. And Sukup's family made a statement moments after the bond hearing. Our Kylie Jones is live with what they had to say. Kylie. Well, Nigel, good afternoon. Yeah, and just heartbreaking moments to say the very least for this family in bond court this morning. You could just see the pain in the eyes of Carly Sukup's mother. She read a statement to the judge, fighting back tears all along the way. Now Carly's three siblings, her mother, stepfather, and other family members were all in that room today, all visibly upset. As her mother spoke to the judge, she shared the pain her family has been through over the last nine days. Specifically, like Taggart said, Carly's husband, who was riding his bike with her the day she was killed. Carly's sister, says it was a relief to see that bond denied for McMorris. I cannot bring my sister back, but we will do what we can to keep Greenville safe um, and to make sure that it is, again, the city that you all love um, and that my sister and her husband love so dearly. Now, Carly's family says she was senselessly ripped away from them by this hit and run while doing something so simple as what she loved, riding her bike. And now Carly's family is holding a memorial ride in her memory this weekend. They'll also be setting up a fund in Carly's name. More on all of that coming up later tonight. For now, reporting live in Greenville, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.